Now after this we have comments. Cal automatically add comment when you have the option edit record, edit changes record. It will automatically add the con comment, right? But in case you want to add your comment, that is also possible. So there are different ways you can add the comment to a particular cell. For describing what was the change, for reviewing, for others to see your spreadsheet, okay? Like over here, this is automatically added. Why? Because my edit changes record option is enabled. Now in case you want to insert some comment on your own, you can right click and there is an option insert comment. And then you can format this comment as well. Select it and here you can format. See, my comment is visible. And when you add the comment, when you add the comment, you can see that there is a red dot. It means the user has entered the comment over here. You can't see the red dot over here. I have not entered any comment on my own, but I have entered in this cell. So this is also showing you the comment added by the record changes and the comment which I have added. All right. The second way to insert the comment is go to insert menu and there you have comment option. It will also give you the same option. And when you insert the comment, the red dot will appear which shows that the user has entered a comment over here. The other way is the shortcut key which is alt control C. You can also edit the comment. For this, you have to right click and there is, there is an option show comment. Now I can add over here and then I can format again. All right, so this is how it has been changed. If I click on show comment again, this checkbox will di disappear. So it will show me the comment which is added by the Kelsey as well as me, both the comments. Now, if you want that the comment which is added by Kelsey should not appear for that, right click on the cell and click on show comment. So only the comment which you have entered will be visible. In case you want to delete the comment, then right click on that and there is an option delete comment. So it will be deleted. Now the default comment which is added automatically by Kelsey will be left. Now the next option is merging the spreadsheet. Editing the comment we have done, accepting and rejecting changes we have done. Merging worksheet means, suppose I have given the worksheet to number of users to add the data. Then I can merge them together. And for merging the document and spreadsheet, I have again the edit menu, changes, merge document. So I will be creating two documents. One will be the original one. Second is the one which is given to the another user for review. That user will make some changes and then I am going to merge these two spreadsheets. For this, I just save and close this file and then I will create another copy. So I have created the copy. Now I'm going to open this copy over here and also make sure that your record changes option is enabled. All right. So let's make some changes. I just enter one more over here. I'm also going to change the marks over here. Let me delete one of the row. Now let's save and close this file. And then I'm going to open my original one. This is the original file. Now I'll go to edit changes and merge document. From here I will open the document which has to be merged with this original document. So I will select original copy where I have made the changes. Click on open. It will show you what are the different changes done over here. You can again accept and reject those changes. For example, in cell B3, the data has changed from 45 to 46. Click on accept if you want to. I want to reject this change. So let's reject it. Now the next one is again there is a change and it is also showing me that there is a row which is deleted. So if you want to accept this change, Click on accept or click on reject. So I click on reject. Then it is also showing that one of the row is added. The row that I have added is this one. Okay. So I accept this one. I accept this also. And then I finally reject this. 
I can see that what are the different changes that I have accepted. I can see what are the different changes that I have rejected. This is how you can merge the two documents. In the document that I was given to user 2, he has added this row and deleted the first record. And when you open his document and merge with yours, you have the accept and reject changes dialog box with which you can easily merge the document. You can keep the changes. You can't. You can reject those changes. It's all up to you. Now we are left with the last topic which is comparing the documents. Now when suppose you have shared the worksheet but the reviewers or the users have forgot to record the changes. Means they have forgot to turn on the option edit record changes. In that case also Kelsey has a solution. You can compare your document with the another users and you can easily find out what are the different changes made by another user. Again that option is in edit menu. For merging the documents make sure that record changes option is enabled. And we use compare documents option in case record changes option is not enabled that is disabled now merging is done so i'm deleting this spreadsheet here and i'm creating another one and let's make the changes over here i just rename it now let's open this now this spreadsheet was given to another user and the record option was disabled right so i have disabled the option of record here there is no check mark, it means disable. Now, if the user is making any changes here, they are not highlighted because the record option is disabled. So, how to know that what are the changes done by this particular user? Then you will go to edit, compare document. You will compare it with the original one. So, click on original, click on open. It will tell you what are the different changes which are done by the user. So here again you can accept and reject the changes one by one or all of them. If you want to keep all of them, click on accept change. Like let's uh, take this one 42, 45 accept, 45 to 46 reject, 46 to 47 reject and 47 to 49 accept. So this is how you can compare the document and accept and reject the changes. I hope every topic is clear to you in case you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and tune into my channel for the coming videos thank you so much